Hello and welcome to this review of Revoicer. What Revoicer does is it creates speech files from text. You pick a voice, you type out what you want it to say and you generate the audio. Now do stay tuned to the end because if you stay tuned to the end I'm going to show you how to access the right link to get the cheapest price for this software because that is going to save you a lot of money. I paid for this myself and this is going to be my own honest reviews. So I'm Big G Video and I make videos about making videos that cover software, lots of other things. But let's get into this Revoicer review. So Revoicer costs me £69. Let's look at the voices we've got. I live in the UK, so I like English British. And you'll notice we've got Connor, we've got James. Ella is a pro version and we'll talk about the pro version later. Kirsten is available and all these other ones are locked down for the paid upgrade. So we also have English, African, Australian, Indian, Ireland, US, and you get a variety of voices for each country. If we wanted to pick Filipino, for example, we've got Christian. Let's just listen to him. Hello, isa ako sa pinakasik. Umaasa ako na mag... So he's speaking Filipino. So if you typed in non-English languages, you would have a speech generator that would work for them. Let's go back to English. Now, this is a nice thing that we are able to filter down our languages by typing. Let's go for English British. And let's just have a listen to Connor. Hello, my name is Connor. And let's have a listen to James. My name is James. I prefer James. So I'm going to pick James, who's already selected. Now, what I do is I type in here. So. I've typed out my text and I can do a quick preview by clicking this button. Hi, this is Big G Video. I make YouTube videos about making videos. This includes. So what we can do is we can change parts of this. So let's say we wanted to really emphasize this first section. We can make the volume high here and for the rest of it, we can, in fact, I'm not going to do the rest of it for this. So I'm going to make it normal. And for this last bit, I'm going to make it low. So I'm adding emphasis by volume. We could also change speaking rate so we can have very slow, normal, fast, very fast. So I'm just going to make this bit fast and we can also add pauses. So if we stick our cursor here, we can add a pause of one second. So it just puts a pause in of one second. So I'm going to click generate audio. Now it does generate quite fast. See, it's already been generated. We can play it to see if we like it or we can download it. So I'm going to play it. P class equals, hi, this is Big G Video. I make YouTube videos about making videos. This includes software reviews, camera reviews, tips and tutorials. I also do random shorts. Now we got big class equals for some reason at the start. I suspect that's a slight bug because I made the volume louder. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to download it and we're going to see if that bug exists in the download or if it's common to both. P class equals, hi, this is big G video. I make you. So unfortunately that bug exists in the preview and in the download. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take, set this back to normal. I'm going to regenerate it. I have to look at the numbers now to know which one's which. This is the one I want to look at. Let's listen to this. P class equals, hi, this is Big G Video. I'm not sure why it's doing that. I mean, it's not the end of the world. You can cut it out, but B class equals isn't particularly helpful. I'm going to take this pause out and I'm going to regenerate it again. P class equals, hi, this is Big G. No, okay, we're stuck with that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select them all and I'm going to delete the selected. I'm going to delete those files because I'm not going to use them. So for tones, if you change the tone, you change it for the whole speech. You don't change it for aspects like you do with the rate and with the volume. Let's do a normal tone first so we can hear what Kirsten's like normally. Hi, this is Big G Video. I make YouTube videos about making videos. This includes... Okay, so that is her normal tone. This is now her serious tone. Hi, this is Big G Video. I make YouTube videos about making videos. This includes. So I'm going to go to Eng English US. Warren has three tones. He's got normal, serious and friendly. Let's try friendly. Hi, this is Big G Video. And let's try serious. Hi, this is Big G Video. 
it's not just a subtle difference. It's almost like it's someone else reading it. There is quite a big difference when we change the tone. So I'm going to generate this and that's generated really quickly. And then I'm going to go to a female. I'm going to go to Zoe and I'm just going to put check out my other videos on TTS software like Profit Voice because I have done a video about Profit Voice and Profit Voice costs a lot less than this and it's just a very simple TTS video. So I'm going to just generate this for Zoe and what's nice is we've got the face down here, we've got the speaker so we know instantly what's been said and who said it. There is another option that we can do, we can merge these two together. So if I select them both and I click Merge Selected we get Warren and then we get Zoe and we can drag them around to change the order if we want. Let's give the file the name of merged. Now, when I tried this before, it didn't work. So I'm going to click merge voices and it should create a file with both those voices in. So it says it's done. So here we go. So I'm going to play it and we're going to see what we get. When I did it before in my initial test, it didn't work. P class equals greater than hi, this is big G video. I make YouTube videos about making videos. This includes software reviews, camera reviews, tips and tutorials. I also do random shorts. So unfortunately, the merged doesn't work. Merging them for whatever reason doesn't work. I think it would be quite useful to merge them because you could have conversations said, you could have different people saying different things. I think that would be quite useful, but unfortunately it doesn't work. So now let's now look at the upgrade. So like I said, I paid $67 for this. But if I click on one of these pro ones like Tyler, my name is Tyler. It gives me a preview of Tyler, but it says I've got to upgrade and it's 127 per year. Now, when you buy Revoicer, you can make a one-off purchase. I mean, guess what? $127 to own the upgrade outright as a one-time price. I think $127 is expensive on top of the 69 because that's virtually taken up to $200 and certainly $127 per year is really expensive. So with this upgrade, you get more voices. You can have multiple projects. Dialogue type voiceovers. I guess that's talking between two people. You can add in background music and you get access to translation modules. So let's have a look at these other things. So I'm going to say, no, I don't want it. If we click on add music, it takes you here. You need to take that upgrade. So I haven't taken the upgrade, so I don't know what it's like to be able to add music. So the other aspects that we can do are if we go down to this side menu here, we've got our dashboard and all, our, all the dashboard tells us is our usage. And it's got a little training video of seven minutes. So it tells me I've done 11 generations. It tells me I've used this many characters. Now, there is a monthly limit. It's not unlimited. I'm, I'm sure no one's going to hit the limit, but don't think it's unlimited because it isn't. There is a hard monthly limit. That's going to refresh once you get to the end of the month. So if you click on generate text and voice, it will give you a transcript from a voice file. So if you have an audio file of someone talking, it will give you a transcript of that. And equally, we can translate text. And again, we need to get the pro version. I'm going to say I don't want to get the pro version. But what you can see here is you can type out text or paste text in and you can translate it from one language into another. And of course, in Revoicer, you've got access to different languages. So you could, if you have a, a Danish audience, for example, you could type out what you want to say in English, transfer it to Danish. And I'm sure there's a Danish voice you could use that will speak Danish in Revoicer. So that might be of use to someone, but again, you need to go for that upgrade. And last of all, if you go to training, hello and welcome to the stop talking there. It just shows us that training that we saw in the dashboard. So let's sum up. What do I think of Revoicer? Certainly if you pay £69 or $69 as a one-off fee, it's quite good value. You get access to some some really good voices you can change the voice by changing the tone you can add pause you can change the rate and you can change the volume and you can do that selectively you get quite a lot of voice generation per month although it's not unlimited it does have functionality to merge the files but that's never worked for me and there are some other bugs in it that it reads out code that you haven't put in so it's not a perfect piece of software and certainly it does have some bugs which we've seen 
but for some people this might be a great piece of software like i say i've already done a video review of something called profit voice and i found profit voice was around 15 dollars, i think one time fee and that had no bugs but that was a much simpler piece of tts software but to be honest, if you're using TTS software, how advanced do you need it to be? Now I'm in Google and I'm gonna do a search for Revoicer so we can look at the correct link. So there's Revoicer here and there's Revoicer here. At this one, we've got a one-time payment. So if I click on this, we've got one-time payment and it's $67. It turned out to be 69 pounds for me because I'm in the UK. However, if I scroll down to this one, Revoicer here, and I go to pricing, it's at least $27 per month. And what you get for that $27 is exactly the same as if you paid $67 one time fee. So it's really important you use the right link and I'm gonna put the right link for the one time fee in the video's description. In the future, I'm gonna be doing a review of Speechalo and I'm gonna be comparing Revoicer to Speechalo and some other TTS softwares. Thank you, goodbye.